All right, welcome back to this series on Tutor LMS. In this next lesson, this next video, and this little mini course we're creating here is actually creating our first free course using Tutor LMS. All right, let's waste no time and dive right in. So here we have our website we've uh, created in the previous video. What I wanna do next is head back to my dashboard and just give you a quick tour around the Tutor LMS interface here. And what I love about this one is when you go to courses here, the it's just very simple so we're, go, we're going to go ahead and add our first course our first free course here and what's beautiful about this system is that it keeps everything you need on a single screen so this little screen here this has everything you need for your online course it, it's the place where you put your description your title all the course content all the lessons all the topics everything else um your, even your promo videos, benefits, requirements. And the reason why they do this is, remember, this is not just you creating a web a course on your own website. This is you basically becoming a distribution platform for other teachers to be able to launch their own businesses through you. So I think why Tutor LMS makes this interface so clean and simple is because it standardizes the process of creating a course, and it even gives you, uh, as the instructor, the the cue cards of what you need to say next and how you need to add this in so that no matter which instructor it is you have on your team it takes very minimal orientation for them to be able to create a good high quality online course on your platform so what i want to do here is let's just briefly create a quick course a free course with tutor lms we'll call this one free course with tutor and what I want to do here, I'll fast forward this, but I want to stop in certain places to talk through the different uh, fields we're filling out here. And I want to show you how quickly it is to make a course. It looks really good um, right off the bat. So we'll add a quick description. In. Here under the additional data area, you can set the total course duration. So this is really geared towards those video courses, which are so popular and so valuable today. And you want to give your students an before they invest the money into in the money and the time into your course, you want to let them know how much time investment is going to be. So let's say this is going to be a two hour and 31 minute course. Now this doesn't unfortunately add up all the video links of all the videos you've uploaded to the platform. That would be kind of cool. Uh, so you do have to get your calculator out and look at all the videos you have and probably give some additional time to uh, how long it would take to actually work through the lessons and the, the quizzes and all that, but give a good estimate of how long it's going to take for the course to, to last. You've also got this levels here. So if it's an all levels courses or a beginner level course, you can indicate that easily here. I haven't found a place to actually edit uh, what those options are. I, I, I think this is beginner, intermediate, and expert, which is fine for most people here. Under the benefits, requirements, target audience, and materials included, this is a really clean way of making sure that everybody's filling out their course content the same way. So let me fill this out. One thing to keep in mind is you want to have one line per answer. So there's going to be three benefits of your course. You want to have three lines here. Alrighty, so I filled in uh, some sample here. So I have three different benefits that we'll be able to see in the preview screen when we're done. Requirements and instructions, same thing. For a targeted audience, you want to keep it to one per line as well. So for this particular course we're going through right now, our target audience are course creators, online learning management, and any entrepreneur with a passion for learning. And under materials include, uh, you can include the fact that there's 31 video lessons, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. Now what's cool here is that uh, Tutor LMS built in with uh, YouTube and Vimeo for video hosting. You can also upload your own videos to your website, but unless you have a really kick-ass <laughs> hosting package, you probably don't wanna be hosting a whole lot of videos off of your own WordPress website. So I do recommend um, YouTube is fine for lower lower ticket items. Uh, Vimeo, if you wanna get a more premium feel and and add some additional protection options to your videos, that's where I'd recommend you go. But for this one here, let's go ahead and add a course intro video. And this is kind of like the sales video or the trailer that's gonna help sell your video. So I found a quick little video we can put in here. And let's say this is an, another three minute and 31 second video runtime. And now here under announcements, we'll cover this in a separate video, uh, but you have the entire ability to communicate with your uh, students directly in the platform, which is super, super cool. Now, before we build out and start adding uh, lessons and topics to this course, let's go ahead and do a couple quick things and preview how it looks. So one thing I want to do is I want to add a featured image for this course. Let me go, go to featured image. 
Now you can add any uh, graphics or use any graphics tool you want. I personally am in love with Crello right now. It's a fantastic tool. I'll link to a full review on that tool as well in the description. And let me just grab one of my designs that I've worked on recently here. So this is a nice one. I like very clean, flat graphics and it's pretty responsive. You can use any uh, dimension size. You just wanna make sure you keep them the same and it'll work really nicely with, uh, with Tutor LMS. So I'll download this graphic here and let's head back to our course area and we can just drop this guy right back in as the course featured image. I'll set my featured image and we can also add categories for this course. So let's say this course is about uh, online learning. We can create a category for online learning as well as tags. We'll call this tag tutor LMS. And all this will help your students eventually find your courses as your portfolio grows bigger and bigger. So I'll preview the course. I click save draft. And now I'll click here to take a look at what we've built together. And already, as you can see, I put a little, I'm actually very curious about these uh, sunglasses here, why he's holding them in such a very menacing fashion. But here you go. So this is a pretty cool looking course already, right? You've got a nice structure to it. It looks very much like a lynda.com or a udemy.com. You get all the details you need directly from this page. And there is no designing, no messing around with page builders to make it look presentable. It all handles for you with that interface. So here you can see our categories, our total time, how many students are enrolled. That's a huge social proof element as your courses start to grow. This, the description of the course, you can make this as long as you want to as well as what you will learn, requirements, target audience. You can see this looks great, right? Also, it has the ability for you to click on the tags or the categories, and it will, it's not published yet, but uh, as your courses grow, you'll be able to have multiple courses within the same tagging system or the same categories and be able to navigate to those easily. And what's also great about this, I'll go ahead and play this video real fast. So while this is a YouTube video, one of the big challenges with using YouTube videos for premium courses is that normally you can right click on them and you'll be able to directly get the video source from any screen within your membership area. And that can lead to people doing naughty things like taking and stealing your links and sharing them without paying. Not nice. So thank you, uh, uh, Tutor LMS, for making it harder for people to be pirates because I cannot right click on this and get the video URL. Unfortunately, I can see that it is a YouTube video. You can very easily tell it has all the overlays of a YouTube video, but at least makes it harder for people to do mean things. Okay, so we have our course built out, our front page at least, but we need some content in the lessons. So what we'll do here is instead of having to bounce between the courses and the lessons and the topics and the quizzes and all these things in different uh, pages and different tables of our WordPress da uh, database, they have a very clean interface. And I think this is because they intend to have multiple instructors. They, they really put a lot of care and detail into the simplicity aspect of building out a course. So I'll come here to Course Builder and I'll click Add a New Topic. And the hierarchy they have here is basically topics and then lessons and quizzes within it. So there, there's not a ton of hierarchy uh, of you know modules and chapters and subsections and all that. They keep it pretty simple. So we'll add our first topic here and we'll call this topic Tutor LMS walkthrough. And you can give a little description as well. This topic guides. Okay, get added a little description and topic. So we'll add this. And while staying on the same screen, while keeping things just as easy, now we're back to our course builder. We can add more topics as well. Just call this one conclusion as an example. So you can see that you add multiple topics and it all becomes very drag and drop and easy to organize uh, like that. Let's go ahead and head into our first topic here. And then again, like I said, you've got lessons and quizzes. We'll cover quizzes in a separate video, but now we'll go ahead and add our first lesson to this free course. All right, so in this lesson, let's just call this one using Tutor LMS step-by-step. Step. And so they strip away a lot of the fluff in their course platform. And I think that's intentional. You know, they could enable, uh, you actually can enable Gutenberg to add some nice frills and, and bells and whistles, but ulti ultimately you want a clean learning experience for your students. So here they focus on the video and simple text. So here we give a quick description for this uh, uh, lesson here. 
All right, so what they're going to learn in that lesson, you can add a featured image. Let's go and add the same featured image just to show you what that does. And then also, again, you can do videos. So we'll go ahead and do another YouTube video here. And let's grab a different one. Against my better judgment, I'll put in a video of a turtle eating a popsicle. I have three children and they like watching stuff like this on YouTube. So what can you do? And again, we'll give a runtime for the video. And you can also upload attachments like uh, lesson plans or um, cheat sheets or downloads or anything like that, so which is great. So we'll go ahead and update this lesson. And I'll fast forward uh, here and add one more lesson just so you can see how the progression works. Okay, so I added another quick lesson here. We'll update this. And now we will go ahead and preview the entire course taking experience with Tutor LMS. So I'll publish the lesson or publish the course. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at this. And right now, remember, we are logged in, so we don't have to go through the process of registering a new account yet. We'll do that uh, in the future. But what we want to see here is that now on the topics for the course, you can see our content is built in. We can see how long the, uh, the content is. Here's what I mean about make sure your calculator is out because we hard coded the two hours and 31 minutes, but that does not add up to two hours and 31 minutes. So um, get your, get your uh, calculator out there. So what we can do if we want to take this course, assuming we're already a learner in this platform, we can just click here on enroll now and it couldn't be simpler. Boom, we're enrolled. This has now changed to show our status through the course as well as when we enrolled in that course. And all that data can be used for instructors to help you succeed in the lessons. So we'll go ahead and show you by starting the course here what the interface looks like. <laughs> Why do I pick these videos? And so now here we go. So our interface changes. This looks a lot like the focus mode in Learn Dash 3.0. Um, this is a, a great learning experience. I have no, no problems at all with how this looks. Uh, it focuses you on what you want to see. And what I like uh, kind of even better about this one is the lesson list stays here on the left hand side. You can see our topics and our um, lessons here. You'll also have quizzes, which we'll add in here shortly as well as the Q&A, which we'll also get into in the next video. But uh, it's very easy to navigate. It's very easy for your students to get through and they can click into the video and <laughs> watch this video. If, I'm gonna go ahead and complete this lesson to move on uh, to the next lesson here. And you can see it automatically moves you on to lesson two here, where um, it just it's very easy to go through this process. Uh, you also have the ability with YouTube videos to increase the speed, which is a great benefit for the learner and just a lot of you know cleanliness that goes along with this. When you are a student, you can go back into your dashboard at any given time and see where you're at in your courses. You can see I've enrolled in one course and how many students you have in your own courses as an instructor. Uh, just a very clean 50% all the way through the way. Uh, very clean learning experience. I think they've done a great job setting this up. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and go a little bit deeper, and we're going to talk about uh, registering new students, creating teachers and quizzes, and a whole a lot of other things. So I'll see you in the next video.